What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? It's your boy Anubis bringing you another Afternoons with Anubis. Now, before I get into today's topic, I want to give a big shout out to Aver Media. I won one of their giveaways on Facebook. And I'm going to be using the capture card that I'm receiving from the giveaway to give back to one of you guys. I'll be doing the giveaway on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on YouTube or on my live stream. So if you guys aren't familiar with any of my social medias, make sure you guys go check it out down below in the description box. And so you guys can go follow if you guys don't have a Twitter or a Facebook. Make sure you go make one. Very simple, very fast, and easy to do. Shouldn't take much of your time, guys. I want to also add on to that, guys, that I want to, I've been very blessed and thankful uh, to receive this Mutiny shirt, t-shirt, from the Mutiny organization. So you guys, if you're not following them, make sure you go follow them as well on Twitter at MutinyCod. That's capital C, capital O, capital D, all one word, no space, no underscore, no nothing. Um, I want to give also a big shout out to Mutiny Zephyr, Mutiny Dewdrops, and the entire Mutiny family for supporting me during these past few days, this past week of me being depressed and struggling and fighting to keep my sanity intact, which I'm still fighting to do. Um, but also, guys, I want to add on to that giveaway. So when that Aver Media capture card comes in, I'm gonna be giving that away as well as one of these, as well as one of these T-shirts, which I'm gonna show you right here, real quick. So here you guys go, right here. There's a Mutiny T-shirt. This is a large. I'm also gonna be giving away a pair of Black Ops 3 Control Freaks for the Xbox One. Thankful to our sponsor, Control Freak. Now, real quick, guys, before I continue on, this is not a paid advertisement or paid promotion. These things were given to me from the Mutiny organization, not from Control Freak, and not as a, an intentional use for a giveaway, but um, I don't play the Xbox One enough to really use these Control Freaks. Even though I love to use them and would love to have them, I want to give back to you guys who would probably benefit more from their use and use them more frequently than what I do. So, as I said guys, this giveaway will happen either on my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter or on my live stream. So make sure you guys go make accounts, go follow, and check out all the links to my social medias down below in the description box. Now moving on to the main subject here guys. Um, I know it's been about two weeks since I posted the video and the last, week, last video you saw was me at a wedding or attending a wedding for my girlfriend's, my girlfriend's best friend's wedding. Um, a lot of you guys thought I was getting married. You guys were like, what? <laughs> a lot of you guys were kind of like surprised and shocked at the same time that when you realized I wasn't me getting married, you guys were laughing. And I found that very entertaining for myself. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys actually enjoyed that video and found it entertaining for yourselves. But since then, my girlfriend, which is now my ex-girlfriend, which I'll get into in a moment, uh, she after that whole thing there with me being in the hotel and whatnot, that next morning, early that morning, she went to go be with her best friend on their honeymoon. Her, her best friend went on a honeymoon to Trinidad and she went with them and she was gone for a week. And during that week, we had some rough times um, with communication and with her being able to think a lot. She was thinking a lot while she was there since she was pretty much by herself in the most of the time. And you know, they were out enjoying their newly found marriage. Um, she had a lot of time to think to herself, a lot of time to, to, to decide things and change her mind about things was what eventually happened. So a week goes by, she comes back after a week from being in Trinidad and uh, during the week she's back. The first couple of days were really rough between us. She, I didn't talk to her for one like whole day and I messaged her late that night, that same day, late at night though. And she was pretty upset with me that I didn't you know, message her earlier on in the day. Um, you know, and I, I felt bad for not doing so, but like my mind was so distracted and there was just so many things going on in my mind because I saw already the distance that she was starting to have with me and seeing and knowing and feeling in the depths of my soul and heart that she was getting ready to break up with me. And for the longest, I think she was trying to fight that feeling and I think that she wanted to be with me and I, I still think that she truly cares about me. But like I said, I don't think she loves me anymore. And I even expressed that to her at the wedding. And she tried to reassure me that she still loves me, that she did love me at that time anyway. And I think I was right on the money though when I felt that way. I feel 
as if I was in the right. I felt like that my emotions and my heart were telling me the truth. And I think she was just trying to deny it and trying to fight because she does care about me. She does care about my feelings, at least, and care about, you know, how I felt. Like, you know, like, I'm trying to worry without making her sound like an awful person because she's not. You know, I wouldn't have a PS4 without her. She, you know, use, you know, she she lended me some of her hard-earned money to get this PS4 so I could bring you guys more content and play with more of you PS users out there. Um, you know, she she believed in what I was doing, but she never truly understood, you know, what I do. She didn't believe that this could become a substantial or beneficial career move. Especially if being a 31-year-old, almost 32-year-old man playing video games where it's meant to be kind of like a hobby and a, a child's toy, a, a teenager's toy, a young person's toy, not a grown man in his 30s, you know, trying to make this into a career. And, I mean, honestly, it is a young man's game, you know, it's I, I wanted to take my chances and try to give you guys a perspective from an older person's view and like that you know this isn't just a young man's game that I believe that older men who have interest in video games or have a passion or love for video games and for live streaming or just for YouTube in general even just to watch YouTube you know if you have a passion to watch or do these things or play these things then I believe that with enough determination and enough time and enough support and having the right equipment, you can make this into a career and go far. And that's what I've been trying to prove to all of you out there and to prove to myself that I can do this, that I can make this into something big, something fantastic, and that anybody can do it. If I can do it, being a 32-year-old man, that anybody of any age, any sex, religion, race, creed, whatever, can do this. So, you know, this is my way of trying to encourage all of you who have a dream, whether it's gaming or being, you know, the first person on Mars or the first person on Pluto, whatever, you know, that don't give up on your dreams. Don't let people hold you back and don't let yourself hold you back. You know, stay true to your dream. Stay focused on what you want and work hard for it. You know, obviously, sometimes we hate working hard. We like being lazy or taking the easy road. And unfortunately, that's not a thing we can do all the time. Sometimes it's nice to take the easy road, but the easy road is just a quick release, a quick satisfaction, and it's not what we truly need or truly what we want, because at the end, it's as quick as we earned it, it's quickly gone, just as easily. Um, so basically, me and her are over. She ended it with me two days ago, I want to say on Friday, I believe. Yeah, Friday night, or Saturday, no, Saturday morning she ended it with me. She She texted me tried calling me but I was asleep because I went to bed really late because I was already anxiety and panicked up and all fuzzy in my head so I, I stayed up until about 6 a.m. that morning on Saturday morning give or take and uh, just kind of slept the day away or slept most of the day away. no I didn't sleep all the day. I don't know I don't remember I don't remember really what happened Friday into Saturday I just remember she broke up with me on Saturday sometime that day um, or Friday sometime that day I can't remember honestly I'm sorry so you know, we text, then I called her, and, uh, you know, she said that it wasn't me, it was her, that she wants to get her health in order, um, even though, as far as I knew, and as far as I was concerned, she was in perfect health, she was doing a lot better than she ever was before, prior, um, she went to surgery, too, a long time ago, to, to get her health in order, and she's doing so much better, and she's lost so much weight, and she's gotten so much healthier, and I'm proud of her for that. Um, and then also, you know, she said that she wanted to, that she thought she was ready for a relationship, or that she, she thought she was ready in general for something. And after us being together for almost four months, she doesn't feel that she's ready now. She doesn't feel like she's healthy enough. And it's really upsetting because we spent Halloween together, Thanksgiving, you know, we spent, uh, you know, days in between that. And then we spent her best friends, you know, she's invited me and wanted me to be there for her best friend's wedding. And, like, you know, being there for all these holidays, these these holidays are supposed to mean something, you know, like where you're with friends and family, you're spending time together with the ones you love, such as Thanksgiving, and this this, this very huge monumental occasion such as a wedding. And then just to throw it away to a week before Christmas, I don't understand how people can do that 
even if I didn't want to be with the person, I would honestly, I know it's as, as bad as it sounds, I would honestly stay with that person until like after the new year, like way after the new year, I'd wait until like maybe towards the end of January and be like, or you know, I'd wait after, I don't even know, because I know mean, Valentine's is right around the corner, you got New Year's and you got Valentine's, and it's, it's hard to kind of, I guess, choose when to break up with a person, especially during the holiday seasons. And I guess no time is ever perfect, and I kind of understand that as I'm making this video, but I just find it really cold and malice to be able to break up with a person a week before Christmas or on Christmas Day or, or any time close to Christmas. Like, it's awful. It's horrible. And it hurts so bad because, not just because it's Christmas, guys, and not just because Christmas is around the corner, but because I've spent so many monumental moments with her. Thanksgiving, I spent that with her family, I've gotten to know her entire family, her her mother and father like me, her sister who's actually just another one of her best friends that live with her, um, you know, they like me, her sister's husband likes me, the sister's kids like me, and they're always asking about where I am and, and what's going on and how I'm doing, and you know, to be part of these people's lives and you know, children's lives, like... And then to have all that be taken away because you feel like you're not ready and you feel like your health is bad. And I don't understand. Uh, I can't understand these things. I can't because I'm not her. I don't know what's going on. And she even said that she never told everybody everything about her health. So apparently there's been things she hasn't told me about her health that she's been holding back. And uh, that may be something that is tying into her decision and her emotional well-being is that maybe something bad is happening and she doesn't want me to worry or get be upset I don't know but it doesn't change the fact that it hurts still it doesn't hurt any less and the fact that we spent all these monumental occasions together going to uh, this chocolate thing and then you know having all these pictures of us together and spending all these monumental occasions together like for her and celebrating her 10 year anniversary to be at this job at this place of business at the hospital and then you know the things I've, I've given her freely because I loved her you know not as a bribe or to keep her with me but because I love her I wanted to show her my affection and then just to basically have all this taken out from underneath me and for her to kind of for me in my eyes to give up so easily and to just throw this all away I, I love her still and I'm not trying to bash her or talk shit about her and I apologize if it seems that way if she's watching this video but I can't help how I feel and how hurt I am and how alone I am now because now I'm going to be spending Christmas alone licking dust bunnies off the floor and crying in a corner the entire day and crying well into the new year because I'm going to be alone. I mean, we were talking about all these plans for Christmas and for the new year, we're like for Christmas, we're going to go see the Rockefeller tree and that never, that's never going to happen. And for New Year's, we're going to go see the ball drop or something. That's never going to happen. You know, we're also talking about future plans to go to other events like the chocolate thing we did. But, like, there was, like, a beer thing or something going on. I forget exactly what it was. But there was another thing we were going to attend to that we were talking about. And then, you know, we were talking, too, about my career here, about, you know, live streaming and YouTube. And that I was willing to sacrifice it all for her. I was willing to give up everything I loved because I loved her more. Because she meant that much to me that I was willing to sacrifice and make a change in my life, change in my career for her. And a lot, even though a lot of you guys told me not to and not to do that, and luckily, and unfortunately, and, and luckily at the same time, unfortunately, I didn't do it. You know, I didn't fully give this up. Because me and her talked and said that, you know, she's willing to give me six months into this career to see where it can go and see how far, much farther I can go with this career. And, you know, I think within that time that I was given originally, that was promised to me, that I could have showed her more about live streaming and YouTubing and what it's all about. I'm sorry, guys, this video is so long and there's just so much I want to say, but I'm going to cut it short here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Before I even go out with my outro, have a Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you're not spending it alone because nobody should be spending Christmas alone or any holiday alone, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Try not to be alone, guys. Find somebody to talk to or be there for you. Don't be alone. As always, guys, though, stay cool, be cool, give respect, and you'll get respect in return, guys. I'm your boy, Anubis. Peace. I love you.